Brian McGuinness, and I'm a technologist in the horticultural development department, and I work here in the Ashdown Plant Disease Diagnostics Clinic. We, we get several hundred samples a year from the horticulture sector, and we diagnose the diseases. And that way, we can help them put in a, a management plan to help control the disease. Um, today, I'm going to be talking to you about a couple of samples that have come in from a local nursery. Uh, they are samples of hydrangea. And they've got a bacterial spotting on there, so I'm just going to talk you through. Um, what causes the disease and how the disease is spread and what it looks like. So these are the two plant samples that have come in from a nursery. Um, you can clearly see the spotting on the leaves there. The spotting itself tends to start on the lower leaves and work its way up through the plant with the healthy leaves on the top through um, water splash, um, which is often exacerbated by the use of overhead irrigation. And if you're growing hydrangea and you start to see spots developing, on the, the lower leaves that are angular, kind of reddish brown to purple, with zones of clearing around them or yellow halos around them. The best thing you can do is actually just remove, remove the leaves from the plant. And often that's enough to stop the disease spread. But uh, if the disease has progressed to this stage where the, um, the upper leaves are starting to become highly infected and the spots are coalescing together. The best thing to do is actually to remove the plant uh, from the bed and that <clears throat> can often prevent uh, the spread of further uh, spotting. <clears throat>